So the other live stream got copyright claims. So I'm going to do the tank yard again for a quick overview. So this is the type 90 of the type 10. This is the type 47. You can play this also at World of Tanks and War Thunder, I think. Type 96. Yeah, the live the other live streams got copyrighted, so I have I'm going to do this uh, one, redo this one. So that's a uh, pretty annoying. Type 89. This was the Type 78 self-propelled during the aircraft gun. Just a copy of the. Uh, the German one, by the looks of it. If you want to see the full uh, walk around of this uh, of this information center and museum, go to my uh, last live stream. You can see everything. This is dust uh, for the tanks. really annoying that YouTube every time copyrights everything. Just before I left, I got a BS copyright claim on one of my popular videos. And I can't even reclaim that video until I get back. So one of those dickheads that plays false copyrights on those videos is going to get free money from me for the whole form weeks and that's just crap I think this has a rear view camera look at that didn't even see that before probably has some a lot of more cameras around this one Which tank has <laughs> even rear view camera parking cameras? Only for Japanese and Japanese tanks that have that. Mobile security cameras, this third tank. <laughs> But this uh, extra precaution uh, for warfare if you get surprised butt sex. On the type I think it is, yes. You can have a look, see? This is the, the copyright Humphrey and so with rock launchers on top. Copy paste. All these vehicles are pretty much copy paste. I think this is pretty much a copy paste vehicle from a British tank. That one is the uh, the American Howitzer. Japanese call it the Mitsubishi Type 50, uh, 75. All Mitsubishi made, of course. With a 155 millimeter howitzer. It's a licensed tank, yeah, made by uh, Mitsubishi then. Probably made in 1975 or something. Probably dates on, on here somewhere. Uh, 1982 it was made maybe this one is from 1970 1978 
okay, a drug thing says that they have the rights to make it and modify it to Japanese terrain. Wait, what do I need to wait for? <laughs> and that's the uh, um, uh, yeah, Japanese army. No, I don't know Japanese. I know a few words of Japanese and that's pretty much it. What type of gun is this? It's the 105 mm howitzer. And there's the UE 1H. And a bunker. Access command post bunker. Oh, but the sickle doesn't drop when I go in here. Yeah, the vehicles are really well maintained. There's only some some damage, but yeah, that's logical, of course. Yeah, we really need to squish in here. Probably the signal is going to drop, so I'm not going in there. Also, like I said, I'm not going in the information center because there's uh, copyrighted music in there, and I already did that in another live stream. This a good connection. I can go to have a look at what that gun type was on the uh, Type 10. It's a 120 mm gun. Waifus! Yeah, pretty much there is a, in every tank, there is a uh, anime girl someplace. That's the myth. Probably run some viable fuel. And I'm blind, I don't see I have the five millimeter main gun. On the time 47. That is the armored car. And the uh, APC. That's pretty much made after the uh, STB one. And yeah, the anti-aircraft gun. <coughs> with that weird canopy on top. It's probably not bulletproof by the looks of it. It's not going to stop anything. The APC 2227 is a dirt tank. I don't know how they do it with bridges in Japan and the weight of the tanks. Because this is already 26 tons. 38 tons. I don't even want to know what that thing is. It's a uh, landmine uh, tank for the beach, but the weight should be enormous. Oh, 16, to 16 tons. That's pretty okay. It's an amphibious landing craft tank to lay mines on the beach. And I don't see the tons on there. 38 tons. And probably this thing is much heavier, heavier than that. Yeah, 43.3 tons. So, yeah. All that uh, extra armor like the Leopard. It sort of looks like a Leopard. In turret wise, yeah, 40 tons is crazy. Uh, 2008, this thing was built. It's 
10 years old. Probably didn't see a lot of uh, action and training. I only used for training purposes in this uh, information center, I think. But okay, that's pretty much it. Go to end this live stream, and there's uh, on the other side there's another vehicle. I may be going to live stream, and that's basically it. Yeah, that other vehicle did go to Afghanistan because there's, uh, there's even rabbit on there. That's why the, uh, it has those flags on the, to the side and on the back. Thank you, Dirt Tank. I'm going to have a really good time. And the sun is gone, so it's not so warm anymore, so that's a plus. I will see you in my next livestream, guys. Enjoy the last few minutes of these tanks.